Alka-Seltzer for headaches. Alka-Seltzer for acid indigestion. Alka-Seltzer for cold. Ask your druggist for Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> everywhere, and a special hello to our boys in the service, wherever they may be. Well, well, welcome to your old Alka-Seltzer National Barn Dance's 10th anniversary, folks. Yes, tonight's party marks the 10th full year since these old cowbells first rang out on the network to welcome all our good friends and neighbors to the old WLS Hayloft here in Chicago. Yes, sirree. How many Saturday nights does that make us see? 52 Saturday nights every year for 10 years, 52 times 10, uh, you count them, Pat Buttram. Who, uh, me count them? <laughs> How many fingers do you think I got, anyway? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. This is our 521st good old barn dance party. Yes, and we can look back over our shoulders and see some mighty happy times. So come on, gang. Let's look right over our shoulder and tell the folks what we see there. Yeah! Over our shoulder goes one. sound even brighter than they did ten years ago. Yes, and everybody looks brighter. That is, except for... Uh, except hey, for, what are you uh, looking at me for? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Gaby. Huh? I was just thinking that you boys ought to have a good old anniversary tune dreamed up for us. What have uh, you got? Oh, it's uh, This is the chorus, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't got the verse figured out yet, so we'll have to start with the chorus, Joe. Oh, yeah. well, we might expect something like that tonight, folks. So let's listen to the anniversary antics of Hezzy, Kenny, Frank, and Gaby, the Hoosier Hot Shot. Oh, this is chorus of the song. Yes, it's the chorus you're hearing now. This song was wrong, he couldn't hear a note, and this here's the verse. It's the verse? Why, this is the verse. Oh, this is the chorus. Yeah. But he knew all the rules, he didn't matter. Why he wrote the first verse first. The first verse first? The worst verse first. This is the chorus. Oh, the guy who wrote the lyrics was as crazy as a loon. So there's nothing to this song but the tune. This is the chorus of the song. Yes, it's the chorus. You're hearing now. Make up the words. You make up the words and go along. Cause no one listens to the lyrics anyhow. Mm -hmm. Tra la, da da. If you want to, you can whistle or hum. When you're singing a song to your friends, just remember this is where the chorus ends. 
This song was written bit by bit, but there's nothing to show where each bit fits. Where each bit fits. Where each bit fits. Oh, now. But if you sing a word to every note, you're bound to know which fits with which. Which fits, which fits, which fits with which. Uh, yeah, for two bits. Oh, here and there, the writers left the space, take a breath, so the singer wouldn't choke to death. This is the chorus once again. Ta la 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 la. With sailing wax. A rooster. A rooster is different from a hen. Well, have you ever sharpened pencils with an axe? With a file. Ta la 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 la. Dummy. Oh, da da da. Anna, sweetie, but she wouldn't marry me. Here's the part that everybody recommends. Just because it's come just where the chorus ends. <laughs> Well, we'll take a chorus from you anytime, who's your hot shots. <laughs> but come on, Arky, you're next with you know what. You bet your lives, Joe. We'll show the folks that ten years of square dancing ain't slowed us down a bit. Come on, everybody, get your hey! partner here. I'm trying to call it out square dancing. Here we go. I'm busy right now, Lou. The next thing. Oh, oh, dance, 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 play around. Don't let go. Let's dance right here. Right there, where I need you, honey. I promise you. My, how time does fly. Why, you know, folks... It only seems like yesterday that Alka-Seltzer started to bring you these happy old hayloft parties every Saturday night. Yet, actually, it was ten years ago tonight. Yes, Joe, but still more remarkable to me is the fact that Alka-Seltzer itself is only three years older than the barn dance. By golly, Jack, that's right. It doesn't seem possible that a product could grow as fast in popularity. Well, I know how it happened, Joe. Folks tried Alka-Seltzer, and they welcomed the kind of relief it offers for headaches, for sour, upset stomachs, occasional acid indigestion, and morning after misery, and for muscular aches and pains, and the dull, achy misery of a cold. They told their friends about it and got them to try it. Thus, Alka-Seltzer is one of the most popular drugstore items in America today. Now, if you're one of the few who has yet to experience the fast relief it offers for so many common ills, why don't you give Alka-Seltzer a chance to be your friend in need? You can get Alka-Seltzer at all drug stores by the 30 and 60 cent size package and also by the glass at the soda fountain. That was a square dance and a half, boys and girls. And Archie, you old Arkansas hummingbird, I saw you paying extra special attention to that gal with the big blue eyes. <laughs> so come on, you might as well tell us about it, and the boys will be right with you. <laughs> Sprinkle me with perfume rare, and I'll be on my way. Stick some slickum on my hair, I may be gone all day. I'm riding for a fall, dooting up, dooting up in my shirt and tie for the gal with the big blue eyes. Riding for a fall, dooting up, dooting up in my two-tone shoes for the gal with the baby blue. Oh, yes, I know. She's a dangerous critter, I know. She's a dangerous critter, I know. She's a dangerous critter, I know. But I can't quit her. I'm riding for a fall. Like a mountain wine To the gal with the big blue eyes Oh, yes, I know I know She's a treacherous woman, I know I know She's a treacherous woman, I know We know She's a treacherous woman, I know She knows, but she's for human tea I'm riding for a fall Shooting up, shooting up in my two-tone shoes For the gal with the 
Romances here in the old hayloft for the last ten years. Yes, sir. Ten years together. And the, uh, what's this now? <laughs> the stranger coming in, Joe. What? Stranger oh. coming in. Oh, I see. Well, he's only been going steady with us for a little over three years, and he is a little strange. But we're glad to welcome the Winston County Flash folks, Pat Buttram. <laughs> Jody, welcome back to the barn dance. Huh? Say, that's right, Pat. I have been away for a couple of weeks, haven't I? Yes. By the way, haven't you put on some weight while I was gone? Uh, no, I just put on my winter underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Pat, tonight we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Alka-Seltzer National Barn Dance. Yeah. Boy, oh, boy, say, you know what? I'll never forget the first time you came to the barn dance. Yeah. It was years ago, and you didn't even have any shoes. Uh, time sure has changed, though, yeah. Joe. Now it looks like the rest of you ain't going to have no shoes either. Yeah. <laughs> you said it, Pat. <laughs> there really has been a lot of changes in the last ten years. You know, I was looking over a newspaper ten years old. One headline said, Hitler wants peace. Yeah, well... He sure took the long way around to get it, didn't he? <laughs> and another story in the same newspaper said the German army and navy had sworn to die for Hitler. Oh, we, well, he, he's making them keep their word on that part. All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 And another thing, Pat, along about ten years ago, there was a change in rules for playing contract bridge. Oh, yeah, I recollect that. That caused quite a storm, didn't it? Oh, yeah. it certainly did, well, what was the reaction in Winston County? Oh, everybody just kept right on playing checkers. Checkers. <laughs> <laughs> and prices were different, too, Pat. Well, just think, ten years ago, haircuts were only 35 cents. Now, they're 75 cents in a dollar. Yeah, well, you was lucky, Joe. You, you got all your haircuts when they were still 35 cents. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, you know... I, I think about uh, myself, I think the biggest change in the past ten years has been in music. Music? Yeah. The songs is different. Ten years ago, the big song was Silver Haired Daddy. <laughs> Nowadays, everybody's singing Pistol Packing Mama. It's all... <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, say, I hate to rush off, but I gotta beat it. We're having a big fall picnic tomorrow. It's the last one this year, and I, I got charge of the tennis tournament. So. Oh, yes, I'm in that tennis tournament, too. Now, don't forget that. Oh, I won't get, I got the schedule all made out. Oh, you have? Yeah, you see, the very best players will play in the morning. And then the poorer players, they play in the afternoon, and the worst players will play along towards evening. Oh, well, what time do I play? Uh, here's your flashlight. I'll be... <laughs> All right, Barn Dance Buttram. <laughs> right now, friends, we're mighty proud to call on one of our original Hayloft songbirds. And here she is, the belle of the Barn Dance, Lula Bell. Out on an Indian reservation, far away from civilization, where the foot of pale face seldom trod. White man went to fish one summer, met an Indian, made a hummer, daughter of the big chief, there the to her. You are my pretty little Indian Nephany. Come take a chance and marry me. So daddy is the chief is my belief. To a very merry wedding he'll agree. True, you're a dark little Indian maid, but I'll sunburn to a darker shade. I'll wear feathers on my head. Hey, my cheeks an Indian red. If you'll only be my Nephany. Sorry to say this 
love talk caught her. Soon he married the big chief's daughter. Happiest couple that we ever saw. Till his dream of love had faded. Nathanie looked old and jaded. Just about like any other squaw. Soon sat pooses came in numbers. Redskin yells disturbed his slumbers. White man wonders at his blunders. Now the feathers droop upon his head. Too late now, but still he's wishing that he never had gone fishing or had met this Indian maiden said. You are my pretty little Indian Napoli. Come take a chance and marry me. So daddy is a chief, is my belief. To a very merry wedding he'll agree. True, you're a dark little Indian maid, but I'll turn to a darker shade. I'll wear feathers on my head. time tune was a lot of fun, little bell. But old friends and old songs always get along here in the old hayloft, folks. Just like that little street where old friends meet. So let's welcome that old favorite and the girl with a million friends, Grace Wilson. We told you something about the growth of Alka-Seltzer's popularity. Now I think you'd like to hear something about the newest member of the Miles family. One-a-day brand vitamin B complex tablets. Tell them, Jack. You know, friends, we get a lot of genuine satisfaction out of telling you about one-a-day brand vitamin B complex tablets because they're such a fine product and they may do so much for you. If a B complex vitamin deficiency is causing you to feel tired out much of the time to be nervous and irritable, to have certain digestive upsets, you're just the person who should start now to bolster up your three square meals a day with a single one-a-day brand vitamin B complex tablet. That single one-a-day B complex tablet is so rich in these vitamins that it supplies you with your full basic daily requirements of all the B vitamins whose needs have been established. That's right, folks, and because you take but a single tablet each day, one-a-day B-complex tablets are mighty easy to remember. And that single tablet means economy, too, because it just stands to reason that a single one-a-day tablet would cost you less than lower-potency kinds that require you to take three or four tablets or capsules daily. So for real convenience and economy, ask your druggist for one-a-day brand vitamin B-complex tablets. Look for the brand with the big one on the gray package. 
for that's the one to buy at all drugstores. Well, here's the 10th anniversary tune, sure enough, folks. The down-home rag and those three little sweethearts of Sunbonnet Swing, the Dilling Sisters. Everybody now was singing it. Deep and dot and loot and has them right in the bag. And the crowd is kind of proud when they come started swinging it. Deep and dot and loot and that's the down home rag. Down home. They've got rhythm and how down home. While they're pushing the plow. Down home. They're all looting it now. Looting it now, looting it now, looting it now and how. They play the tune of the week. I think they call it the chic. They tell the neighbors it's new because it took them 20 years to learn to play the tune. High rope, he plays piano and drum. Left rope, snaps his fingers and thumbs. I thump, the people give him a hand because they know there's nothing hotter than a two-man band. Here we go, and I know you've never heard corn quite like this. <laughs> Denning sisters, but say, how about a new tune? You know, something red hot and hillbilly. Uh, oh, uh, uh, pardon me, Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly, did we hear you say hillbilly? Yes, why? Plebeian thought, don't you think? Oh. Well, now, if you who's your hot shots have something better. Oh, have we? Why, Joe? Hey, wait till Gabe here gets on his monocle. <laughs> here you are, Gabe. <laughs> Thank you, Hezekiah. Ready, gentlemen? Oh, my goodness, goodness yes! Yeah. Yeah, Dancing at the Plaza Ritz, a monstrous thing occurred. The debutante began to chant an aria most absurd. Pray precipitate that pistol, madame. It's vulgar, I'll be bound. Pistol producing, madame, deposit that firearm behind that blooming palm. <laughs> hey, going kind of high class on us, Larry Jagimi. Oh, my word, these obnoxious interruptions. <clears throat> <clears throat> I pray that Madame please desist. You frighten me by and large. She answered, Don't fret, it's only loaded with a cover charge. Oh, kindly park that firearm, Madame. Don't deport yourself like a silly clown. And in case you don't fully comprehend, lay that there shooting iron down. Chicago to go hunting was my aim. You did? The warden met me in Dakota and said, buddy, there's plenty of game, That's but not... you'll have to run those pheasants down, uh -oh. Gabe. Run them pheasants down, because we got no shells to hunt with, so run them pheasants down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you uh, gave up in a couple, all right. Yeah, you said it, Gabe. <laughs> well, here I am again, folks. I always have my fun. Since I got this here washboard, why, they keep me on the run. Well, then, play that washboard, Hezzy boy. Play that thing, my son. And thank you. 
On the old barn dance's 10th birthday, we want to thank you, our loyal friends and neighbors who have shared our hayloft parties with us through the years, and invite you to join all of us in singing We've Come a Long Way Together and in hoping that we still have a long way to go. Greetings to the dearest friends we know, just another way to say. War Fund campaign begins next Monday, October 4th. The National War Fund is a nationwide organization that now takes the place of 17 different uh, different relief agencies and thousands of local welfare organizations. And included are such worthy causes as the USO, United Seamen's Service, War Prisoners Aid Committee, as well as the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Community Centers, and many other local welfare organizations. Now, with this one big organization, National War Fund, it means that this is the only appeal made and that you and I have only one contribution to make instead of the several you probably have been making in other years. So, when your local campaign gets underway, give as much as you possibly can to the National War Fund. Well, folks, next Saturday, we're going to broadcast our Alka-Seltzer National Barn Dance direct from the U.S. Naval Air Station at Bunker Hill, Indiana, for the personnel of that great Hoosier Naval Training Station. And we hope you'll all be listening in. So until then, this is Joe Kelly saying good night and good health to you all for Alka-Seltzer. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>